It's got to be impossible to deny. After Elimination Chamber, that Kofi Mania was running wild. It was running worldwide. Brother, brother, oh, brother. And it felt good. It felt so good. Just to even have a deal. Just to have a simple, mere sip of a taste from the cup of it. Just the thought of the potential, of the possibility, of the reality actually happening that Kofi Kingston could maybe, maybe be poised to become the next WWE champion after 11 years and all the stuff that he's dealt with in the company. The Orton burials. The New Day shit that turned into something that really got over. Being Jamaican but not really being Jamaican and all of this. Here we sit now in 2019. And the possibility is there that Kofi Kingston could be ready to break through that glassiest of glass ceilings in WWE. And be a black man to hold the WWE Championship. So we tune in Tuesday night to SmackDown. Waiting for the match to be announced that we think is a foregone conclusion, but it almost feels like it's too easy. It's, it's just like it's too smooth. There's got to be something that's going to get in the way. And then out steps from the back Vincent Kennedy McMahon. And Daniel Bryan's opponent at Fastlane for the WWE Championship. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not Kofi Kingston. It's Kevin Owens. People are pissed. They're butthurt. They're angry. They're ticked off. They're disappointed. They're all those things and so much more. But I got to tell you. Slow your rolls a little bit, pump the brakes, calm it down. Kofi Mania can wait till WrestleMania, and that's okay. I understand the concern about as soon as WWE might even slightly go away from what you want to happen. You're afraid that they'll take it away completely from you. And based off of this company's history and so many other instances, and specifically when it comes to black men and the chase of the world title in that company, I totally get it and I totally understand it. But I promise you, this time is different. And I can't believe I'm saying that. This time is different. Just because this wasn't the initial plan doesn't mean that it's not the plan that WWE is ready to see through and follow through with and potentially go the freaking distance. Believe in it. Have patience in it. It's going to happen. But the reality is right now at Fastlane, the time is not right. You don't want to take something that could be big, that could be historic, that could be a real feel-good moment of WrestleMania and ruin it at a filler pay-per-view. You just don't. If you don't have to do it, don't. And the WWE calling an audible here by throwing Kevin Owens into the mix, which could, yes, potentially lead to a triple threat match at Mania for the WWE title, and that's eh. But still, they could make it work, was genius. Like one of the things when we talk about professional wrestling and everything being fake, scripted, predetermined, a work, bullshit, whatever you want to look at it as, is how nice it is when they can get you to suspend your disbelief and saying, yeah, this is fake, that's fake, but that's real. I can believe in that. I can buy into that. Even if it's crazy off the wall and it feels like it's fake, it can still feel it's real. But there's something tangible here. The fans can feel it. They know it. They sense it. There's history on a variety of different levels here at play with Kofi Kingston in the pursuit of the WWE Championship. It is the type of story, it is the type of history that deserves a payoff at your most important show of the year, WrestleMania, in front of your biggest audience, in front of your most ardent, passionate audience 
It deserves that platform. It deserves that grandest stage. And especially when we talk about the WWE and their obsession with wanting to do the first ever or history in the making or this is historic, it doesn't get a whole lot more historic than a black man winning the WWE championship for this company, period. Especially at a WrestleMania. Like, and in a lot of ways, that would mean a lot more to fans and to people in general and goodwill towards the company than having women like Rousey, Becky, and freaking Charlotte main event WrestleMania. As groundbreaking as that would be for those ladies, as important as that would be for the company from a selling your message of equality and opportunity standpoint, there's a lot more history here surrounding Kofi Kingston. His time with the company, the fact he's never been a world champion, the fact that he is a black man trying to pursue WWE's most important title. You don't get these types of opportunities to make these types of WrestleMania moments happen every day. And the company is wise to wait. Because the thing is, is that as a fan, you believe that the company wouldn't want Kofi Kingston to become WWE champion. You totally buy into that. And now that this company has wisely, strategically inserted Vince here, everybody can be committed to that and everybody can fully buy in and believe that Vince McMahon wouldn't want somebody like Kofi Kingston as his company's WWE champion. Like, this takes this to a whole different level of reality in an era of off-the-wall stupidity and fakish looking bullshit. Here is something in professional wrestling that we can truly buy, that we can truly believe. You can take the work and make it feel real. Kofi Mania being put on hold because of Vince McMahon works. It makes sense. It is so highly logical that to not go there would be incredibly illogical. Just like having Kofi wrestle Daniel Bryan one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship at Fastlane would have been highly illogical. I came on here recently and did a video talking about this company needed to wait until WrestleMania. Even if that meant they did have a face-off and then something happened and you waited until Mania, if you're going to do the title change, it has to be at WrestleMania. And frankly, I would prefer if they find a way to wait for that match until WrestleMania. And here is the moment. Here is the opportunity. And you think about a big picture. You could throw in a Kevin Owens, potentially eat the pinfall at a triple threat at WrestleMania, which means post-WrestleMania you still have the impetus for Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan. And maybe you've got this Daniel Bryan entourage that includes a Rowan. Maybe at some point it includes a Harper and or a Bray fucking Lion going against the New Day. You've got potential months out of this. It's okay, though, that Kofi Mania is waiting. You want it to wait. The company, Kofi's character, as fans, you need it to wait. I know you can feel it. I know you can taste it. And I know you can sense it. I know for a lot of you, you're going to talk about my cucking ass. Of course, I would be down for it. Well, fucking ding dong, Dumpus. What the hell else do we have that could be a potential feel good story like Kofi winning the WWE title at WrestleMania? You literally have people like Jinder Mahal and ADR win because of their skin color. But so many other talents like Kofi Kingston over the years haven't won a world title in this company because of their skin color. And here is a chance for this company to write, or at least begin to write, so many previous wrongs. One of those kind of delusionary type of things where the company could mirror the politics of this country and say, hey, you know what? We can't possibly be racist. Why? Because we got a black guy as the WWE champion. Look at how great we are. Look at how far we've come. And you know what? As revolting and sickening as that is to think about the spin the company would put on this bullshit, at this point in time, I'm willing to eat it and like the taste of it. If it delivers the ultimate end to the means, which is Kofi as the WWE champion. At this moment in time, who the fuck else do you have that is any more deserving of this opportunity in this moment than him? Can't we come together and agree on this at this point? This would be an awesome WrestleMania moment. This has the chance to be the real, true, feel-good story. 
at WrestleMania that so many of us yearn, yearn for and seek out of our forms of entertainment and in the world. Well, here it is, smacking us square and dab in the fucking face. It's going to happen. I believe in it. And damn it all, you know because I'm believing in it. You, 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 all of you. You want to believe in it too. Kofi Mania can wait till WrestleMania. Because when we get there, I promise you, I promise you, it's going to be all worth it.